I don't know where to begin. There's, I got so many different stories about Phil Sharman, but one in particular, Chuck Hearn and I were sitting in Jack Kent Cook's office. Jack Kent Cook said to Fred Schaus, get me the best basketball coach in America. Who is it? He says, well, Bill Sharman has done an outstanding job in the ABA. Get Bill Sharman in here. He's under contract to the Utah Stars. Jack Kent Cook said, Fred, Fred, you get, Fred, you get Bill Sharman in here right now. There was another, another gentleman in, in the room, uh, I forget his name, uh, Art, Art something, and Jack Kent Cook says, Art, tell Fred Schaus to get Bill Sharman. <laughs> Jack Kent Cook had this little idiosyncrasy about sending messages out through other people. But anyway, Bill Sharman came, and obviously uh, what transpired was the most wonderful year in Laker, Laker history with 33 straight wins in the 1971-72 championship. The sec second thing that comes to my mind that Bill Sharman should also get credit for is what he did to the, to the game of professional basketball with his creative, creative attitude towards coaching, stretching. Jerry West never scratched his hamstrings in his whole career until Bill Sharman came in. And so Bill used to have them stretch and warm up in the locker room before sending them out on the floor. Today they have a staff of people stretching the players out on the floor and in the locker room. But he probably is responsible for increasing the number of employees in the NBA in an incredible fashion. If you notice, in, in, in the late 60s, early 70s, first of all, Bill Sharman was the first one to have an assistant coach, Casey Jones. Now there are six assistant coaches or more, or more. They only had one trainer in those days. And he was lucky to travel with the team and God bless him, that was Frank O'Neill. So the staff was the coach, an assistant coach, and the trainer. He also started scouting, which they've talked about, which, which gave me my opportunity to get involved in scouting and doing some video, uh, at that time, 16 millimeter work. And now there are scouting staffs, there are video coordinators with close to a million dollars of equipment, but they, all of those things were started by Bill Sharman and, and, and his innovation towards coaching. Bill. And so those are my memories, and as I said, when I grabbed this microphone, if it wasn't for those things and his attitude towards being progressive when it came to coaching, I wouldn't be sitting here today. Thanks a million, Bill. Wait, Flynn, wait, before Flynn speaks, I, I have to remember, do you remember you had a maroon on maroon Cadillac? I was the odd one. It was a Dodge. And oh, it had- it was a Cadillac. It was a Cadillac, thank you. Okay. And it had maroon velvet hubcaps? Well, I just came from Cincinnati, where it's a little country. <laughs> I, I, anyway, this Cadillac was unique, and I remember John Trapp said to you one day, Flynn, you're the only guy I know that if he gets his car stolen, they're going to leave the hubcaps. <laughs> uh, listen, Los Angeles fans, I'm so happy. I was in Cincinnati, and I remember doing the draft that the Lakers had, had picked me up, and I said, Thank you so much, God. Anyway, it also gave me a chance uh, to be a part of a great history. All of these guys here, I had played against them. And then I finally got the opportunity to play with them. And I'm just so happy, you know, at the age 70, God has been so good to me. And I want to thank you all for giving me this opportunity. And I'm going to pass the mic over to 
the Rook, Jim Clemens. Well, I was a Laker first round draft choice. And before I get started, once again, uh, Bill and Joyce, uh, thank you for bringing us together. Um, life is, has been good to me since that day in terms of uh, being able to play with people that I read about magazine articles, uh, Jerry, Elge, Will. Seeing Pat play in Kentucky, watch Gail play at UCLA and our high school team. Our high school team, uh, we 2-2-1 we two, two, press and I was a lefty and uh, you and Walt out front. We, we modeled ourselves as a high school team against you, UCLA. So uh, Mac was the rook before I was and he and I had a good relationship that year and uh, I've been, I was blessed to play with Mac twice not only here in Los Angeles, but again at the end of our careers in, in New York. And Leroy uh, and Flynn and John Q, who's not here, we stay extra and work on our games. So once again, it, it was a team. Uh, we all had special things, and we bonded on the floor because I think we cared about our performances. And I think we cared about, us, about who we were athletically and as human beings. It was a wonderful experience uh, sitting back and learning. And Coach had a, a great impact on how I see the game and how I try to teach the game now as a, as a coach. I think we all are grateful for what you've taught us, not only about the sport, but also about life. And I think those are the things that are really important that we will carry on and pass on to our, our kids and to whatever we do with the rest of our lives. So thank you. Well, you know, I was really excited at the fact that when they hired Bill Shelman as coach because the Celtics had beaten us, I think, six or seven times in the finals. And by hiring Bill Shelman, Outside, we'll find out the secret. What was the secret of whipping us so much? And, and think about Bill, he, he came up as he mentioned, he was doing things that we had never done before, you know, as far as the training camp is concerned, scouting reports, films, exercise, preparing us to play. All of these things were probably instrumental in uh, getting us all excited to play. Unfortunately for me, I had an injury that year, I was only able to play nine games. But I just felt in the beginning that this was the year for us. We just, I just believe with what Shaman brought to us, the fact of winning attitude and things that we need to do prepare us to win the championship. So I have to say I'm really proud of the fact that we had Bill Shaman and happy that we were able to win the championship. Thank you. First of all, we're here and it's a 40 year celebration. It's been 40 years, which is pretty hard to believe. It seems like it was only yesterday when we were all together. Young men playing together and just enjoying the opportunity to be able to play in the NBA. And for us that were uh, young and having the opportunity to play with Elgin Baylor, Jerry West and Will Chamberlain, three of the greatest players of all time, was just one of the greatest thrills we ever could have had. And then to be able to have the season that we had and then to, to win 33 consecutive games, win the NBA title that year, to play for a great coach and a great man like Bill Sharman, uh, to uh, have bonded and then, and then to come back tonight and to all be together again. Uh, it's, it's blessing upon blessing. And we're just very fortunate to be a part of this, to be a part of that streak, part of the team, to be a part of the Lakers many years ago, and to have played for Bill and Bill and Joyce, we just thank you so much for, for putting this on tonight and for allowing us all to come back and to be together again. We don't know when we'll have an opportunity to be together again, so we're just very blessed and we're very thankful.
for everything that's happened here tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, Keith.